All right, Armor Frost fans, welcome back to another video, guys. And guys, what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to level up to. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to level up to SummerSlam 23. Like I'm gonna, well, how to easily level up to it. But yeah. But guys, always if you guys like to, if you if you guys do enjoy the video, uh, uh, uh smash, 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 smash the like button below. Hit the hit the hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And hit the little bell. It let you guys know whenever I post a video. And and as always, guys, if you guys like to follow me on Supercard, come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby, come on. But yeah, just type in uh, Peyton Frost. Um, just type in uh, Peyton Frost, or lowercase, but remember, if there's a space after my name, you guys want me to find me. But but if it's all one word with data space, then you guys find me on Supercard. And, and you can type my name, all lowercase or all uppercase. Either way works. And guys, always, if you guys want to get a quick shot on my channel, just write me on Supercard, or you guys write me on YouTube. But remember, in your YouTube comment, write your Supercard name. It's be a lot easier to find you guys. All right, guys. So let's do a couple quick shots to Lil LG. But guys, but guys, uh, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He's he's a, he's a fantastic, guy. all Supercard player, fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I really prefer to keep the fantastic work, keep being awesome. Here's Team Twelve. You guys have to go check it out. Next one, nice push out to uh, the only one. But got but got uh, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He's a he's he's a fantastic, guy. all Supercard player, fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate for pretend to keep the fantastic work, keeping awesome. Here's Team Twelve. You guys have to go check it out. Next one is Alex. But guys, but guys, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He's a he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate for pretend to keep the fantastic work, keeping awesome. Here's his Team Twelve. You guys have to go check it out. Next one is uh, Chuck Bungie. But guys, but guys, uh, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He, he's a, he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards. I rate perfect ten, dude. Perfect. Per, per, I would rate. I would rate your cards perfect ten, dude. Keep the fantastic work. Keep being awesome. Here seems well. Yes, I do. Check it out. Next one is Will Games. But guys, but guys, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He's a, he's a, he's a fantastic guy. All Supercard player. Fantastic friend. Here's his cards that right perfect ten to keep the fantastic work keep being awesome. And here's team as well if you guys have to go check it out. Next one is Ryan. But, but guys, but guys, go check him out. Supercard. He, he's a he's a fantastic guy. All supercard player, fantastic friend. Here's his cards that I, I would rate perfect ten to keep the fantastic work keep being awesome. And he went and uh quick and a quick shout out to all his teammates. Uh, Squ uh Squatcho Man, Big Big Daddy, yeah, just call him B. Ryan, Ambrose Asylum. Danny Boy, Future Endeavor, uh, Gamer, uh, or just call him Nader. I don't know. Hunter Austin, Rob the or R, D Town Gomez, Freya, Goon Squad, Leo, Overnight Surger, Slack, the Prototype, and Savage. But guys, but guys, but guys, go check them out on Supercard. All right, guys, here we go. All right, so as you guys know, if you guys want to upgrade your tier. Remember, so the lowest tier at the moment, because the next, there's either going to be one more tier, or there's, or after this, after SummerSlam 23, we're going to have the brand new Season 10. But yeah, say, so the lowest tier at the moment is Behemoth, and it goes all the way to SummerSlam 23, as you guys know. So here we go. So the best way you want to get a perfect team, you want to have your top eight cards, pretty much. But yeah, yeah, you want to have your top eight, pretty much. So whenever you guys have your top eight, as you guys know, you have your normal cards and then you have your event cards. So, so here's like here's like your uh, normal cards here. Like so, here's your normal card, as you guys know. So remember, each of the normal cards, they each have their own different stats. In course, you know what I mean. Each of their stats are always different. So, so what does it go with the Cody Rhodes? So whenever you guys do this, you want to upgrade them fully because that it upgrades your tier. Because I said, let's say you get a SummerSlam in your Behemoth, like the lowest tier. They're just one card from, like, because if it's a SummerSlam, it's going to upgrade your lowest tier, which is Behemoth, all the way up to a higher tier. And this will actually help with, like, normal cards and event cards, even though event cards are stronger than normal cards. All right, so first, you're, what you're going to do, you're going to upgrade your card, the level 100. You're going to upgrade it fully. The next thing after that, you're going to play all the matches with 100, and then you can add the equipment cards to it to make it even stronger. And remember, the lowest one that I have is Swarm. You can go from Swarm all the way up to SummerSlam 23. And remember, the stronger the equipment card is, the better. Each equipment card has its own strongest ability, which is really cool. And you can also pick its own ability here because you can swap it, you know. 
here's the different ones. You have chain, assist, reversal, inspire, overrun. There, I mean, but the strongest ability you can have is overrun, but it makes the card insanely stronger. And whenever you get one card, then you can upgrade it to to two to make it a pro. And this is how strong a normal Summer Slam is. Well, maybe not as strong on this, but there's other different abilities that you can add to it. And whenever you guys do all the ability stuff, whenever you add everything, and then you can play all matches for 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 all the card for all the cards that are like doubled together. Because once you pro it, then you can add, then you can play more matches, and then you can pro it again third time, pro it again fourth time, and then pro it again for fifth time. And you and I think you can pro it up to at least five to five or at least like six or seven. I have like seven cards, but I'm not sh I'm not entirely sure on that one, but yeah. But um, but whenever you guys fortify it at least five to seven times, you guys what you want to do do the same thing. Level up the card and then play all the matches. Whenever you do that, then you're ready to go. Then you can fortify it, or you can pro it again and then just get like a, get like one fortify with three cards, or you can pro it again and just do that and just have another pro. And then of course you can have a different ability. Whenever you guys pro, it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. It's up to you. And then of course you can add the equipment. Then you can add the equipment to it, play all the matches, make it stronger, and all that kind of stuff. So that's how you can do that. And remember, whenever you guys do that, see how here's the Here's like a normal, let me show you, that's a female, but here, see, there's a normal stat for that, and here's the even stronger stat for an event card. The, it raises the stats by like another 10, 20, it raises it by a lot more. And here's the stats for like a myth if it's pro. Now, I said, but since this is a higher tier than myth, you've got stronger cards, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's how that works for that, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, if you guys want to upgrade it or whatever, let me show you this way of doing it. You guys can go to performance center. You can add card in the ring in the ring conditions, and then the gym workout. The gym workout level it, it's worth its levels. The gym workout is for uh, is for your level. So if you want to upgrade it, it means that blue bar, the blue bar at the top, is for your gym levels. And the in ring condition is to play all the matches. So that's how that works. So you can either have it, you can either have the performance center level up the card for you, so you don't have to spend any cards, or you can let the end ring condition let the let, let the green bar fill up to a hundred, and you don't have to play any matches, but you just have to wait time. But here's the other way of doing it. If you guys want to do this with like PVP for like male or female cards, you can add. I would add up. I would just add your two pro cards, the cards you want to pro, to add them there. But if you have like your four to five cards, if you have all of them, then you can add as many as you want. You can add all five of them there or more. It's up to you. Same thing with the female cards there as well. You can add up as many as you want. But yeah, that's the way, other way of doing it. I said whenever you get your card, then just add all the weak cards to it, but then just have your big card in and just let your big card face all the small opponents. But yeah, just have just have your two cards in or how many you want to have for, like if you want to upgrade multiple cards and then so you can have the stronger cards and the weaker cards, but. It's all based on the opponents that you, the, all the cards you have in your uh, PvP, uh, like in your PvP thing. Well, in the one well, in your deck, pretty much. That's the cards that you pretty much face. You know what I mean? Yeah. But says so that's how you can upgrade your tier from like the lowest tier all the way up to the highest tier. Now the other way, if you guys want to get the highest cards, I said the best way is just you can either spend credits and get like the event cards and like the seven hundred fifty credit. Well, like the lower, like the credit packs. From like the lowest one to like a couple hundred credits all the way to a thousand or more. And then you have like the different bundles. You have $5, $10, $20, and $50. Said so you can get that. You know what I mean? And you have different game modes like Rule the Ring. Um, yeah, Rule the Ring, Walk the Road, uh, Bounty Breaker, Puzzler, all that kind of stuff. And then of course you have like the game modes. Then you have the Battle Pass. I said you have the Battle Pass there, which can give you, give, can give you a big event card. Which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you can play like the game mode. You have a TLC, Reward Mania, a Atomic Drop, Tag Team Takedown, and 24 7. Those are the five game modes. And then you have like the collectibles you can get for the events for like the big event cards. You have Fusions, you have Quests, you have Twitch Drops. There's a lot you can do by getting a lot of free uh, credits, super coins, credits, super coins, uh, tickets, draft picks, and rarity picks. And then you can also do. Uh, there's different game game modes, like I just said. If you guys want to get the Damian Priest event card and all the other ones, you got you guys can literally just play like giant. You can you guys can play Giants Unleashed. So yep, you have Giants Unleashed, Ring Domination, Road to Glory, and War Games. So those are four events so you can get those event cards at. 
but then there's even stronger event cards than those. You have Code Breaker, you have Class of Champions, and then you, and then you have uh, Last Man Standing. Now those three events will give you even higher event cards, stronger than these ones. They're like they're like stronger than that. They're insane. And but you can fortify them, but there's only one card of each, and it ranks it. There's different ranks in the cards that you can get. It's really crazy, but. You think a normal card is strong, and then you have an event card, and then you have the then you have the next level of event, and then you have the super strong event cards, and then there's also these event cards which you can also use for super coins, as you guys know. The super coin event cards, like these ones, these are the myth ones. See how strong they are for like the female and the male? They're really strong, but it makes but it gives them an even stronger ability. You know what I mean? But I said, whenever you guys do all this, you want to get like the stronger normal cards, event cards, and just keep it going up. But of course, you want to play all the matches. You want to add all the ability stuff to it. And after that, go here to PvP. Let me show you. Then you guys can go to Momentum. See these? These are your Momentum slots. You can have up to five Momentums. But see how it increases stats? It increases by like another couple million. It increases it by a lot. So you upgrade it, level it up, add the equipment, and then get get all your get everything maxed out, then add it into the Momentum slot there. It'll increase the stats even more. And that's how, that is how you increase your bar here. That is how you do it. If you, this is this is your bar, that is how you level up your tier. But that increases your bar. So these are your top eight. And not to mention, you can have manager cards and support cards. Now with the manager cards, you can you can have one card, then you can pro it, then you can fortify it with five cards or even more. With five to seven cards, you can fortify it. And then with the action card, same thing. You have your manager card, and then you have your action cards. A lot of these cards have different abilities, but it makes it even stronger your cards but it upgrades uh, it, but it upgrades your tier just a little bit and i said you can you can yeah, you can have one or pro it or fortify it with five or, or even seven cards it's really cool it's awesome i said you can pro it even more and make your make your cards even stronger that's how that works now remember the best way to do all this you want to play as many of the game modes as you can get all the big event cards and then you want to play all of the different games you know what i mean so play all the cool game modes that are free play all the giants and late play so all that kind of stuff and also get a lot of the free stuff packs and stuff you can get you can get ladder rewards here with the tier pools now whenever the new season comes out this will reset and then then you can start from from the top you can start from the top and get even get even more cards for that tier like you have the low tier mid tier and then high tier for the new season yep and then you also have the catalog here which gives you a lot of big cards and of course as you guys know there's credits there's a, a bunch of other stuff but yeah which is pretty cool but yeah see Yep, the top there, you can get the SummerSlam. Those are just normal cards. So so here's how it works. So with a lot of the stuff, if you guys just want to get event cards, here's here's how this is going to work. You guys can get the event cards from like the different game modes and stuff, or like you can just play all these cool different game modes, Giant installation, all the other ones, and the credits and stuff like that. You can just do all that and get like an insanely crazy team. Or you can go like the more simpler path and just play like different game modes. And still get the like the normal SummerSlam cards, or you can just go bigger and get the event cards. But remember, as I said, the event cards are even stronger than the normal cards, and then there's even even stronger event cards than the uh, than the normal event cards. If that makes sense. So that there's a, there's like three or four different event cards you can get that are like just higher than each other. And then if you just keep adding all the ability stuff to it, it just it makes it insane. It's awesome. That's how you can increase your tier. The stronger the card with all the different abilities and stuff, it makes it stronger, as you guys know. So, for instance, so if I get like a normal SummerSlam, like, like as I said, because female cards, they're even stronger than male cards because there's not many female cards in the game compared to male cards. For, for females, I think there's like 20 males, and there are for, uh, 20, there's like 20 females, and the males, there's like 80 or more. There's a bunch more. But that's just the normal cards, and then there's only a few female event cards, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But it said, compared with a Myth and then a SummerSlam, the SummerSlams will beat out the Myth cards compared. But the Myth event cards are still strong. It said, you, the more myth, the more event cards, of, you want to have at least Myth event cards or SummerSlam or SummerSlam cards and higher. As long as you have that, as long as you have at least Myth event cards and SummerSlam cards and SummerSlam event cards and keep it higher, keep it going, then you're good to go. That's pretty much what you can do about that. And then, of course, you guys, you also have, you have, if you guys want to get more cards, you guys can do the drop board, and then you can also do the rarity board. You have the tickets up here in the corner here. You guys can do ticket packs. I mean, you can do credits. 
You have the rarity picks on the rarity drop. Or, I mean, there's a lot you can do to get the game mode. So the main thing that I would worry about, focus on, I would do the drop board, the rarity drop board, the tickets, the uh, the super coins, and the credits. Those are the main five I would focus on. And then, of course, if you guys want to and then focus on the next stuff, which is like PvP, the Giants Unleashed, TLC, pretty much all the different game modes that come out, all the free stuff. Do all of that and try to get all the free different cards you can get. And then upgrade them and do all that and just... Just max out your team fully. And then remember, the, there's also the WWESupercard.com. That's the website. Then there's also QR codes, patterns, free gift bundles, and quests. With those five, it also gives you another big advantage. But yeah. But as I said, guys, that is how you can upgrade your tier from like the lowest tier all the way up to the highest tier. Remember, there's different there's different like levels on different cards, pretty much. I said, but the higher the card, the stronger you're going to increase your tier. But as I said, so if you get, so if you have like the strongest card in the game, so if you have like a normal SummerSlam or like a SummerSlam event card, and you're the lowest tier, which is Behemoth or anything, that that tier is going to rise up to even higher grades. And this strategy will work even for all the for all the of uh, the other tiers, like the weak, like the lowest tier all the way up to the highest tier. That's how much it will work. It, it's insane. It works like it works. It works really good. So. As I said, it's going to be a lot of grinding work, though, but I know you guys can do it. But remember, at the start of the game, it's a bit more difficult to upgrade your team. It's a bit more difficult to play, but it's fun. As I said, it's always it's always tough at the start because you just got to get a lot of stuff. But whenever, as time goes on, it will get a little bit easier. But I know you guys can do it. I believe in you guys. If you guys need more help in the comments, let me, down, let me know down below, and I'll help you guys out as much as I can. But guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I hope everyone's doing good. But guys, always thank you for watching. And and if, and if you guys did enjoy the video, uh, 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 smash, 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 like button below. Hit the hit the, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And that's the little bell. It like goes know whenever I post a video. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot to me. And I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and hope everyone's doing good. But guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's doing good. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much so much for watching. And I said, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if this video helped you guys out a little bit. Let me know. And also, guys, remember, if you guys play like Survivor and stuff and all these game modes down here, pretty much every game of the every game of that you see, play it because you can get your you can get big tier pools and even higher. It's 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 insane. So because remember, if you actually play Survivor and win, you get a guaranteed SummerSlam or whatever your tiers tiers based on. Plus a lot of other games. It's pretty cool. But got but guys but and also the team events TBG team stomping ground but yeah pretty much all that kind of stuff it's it's insane. But said that's a good way of actually getting a lot of your big cards. Pretty cool though. But get but guys always but guys always thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace peace I got love you.